Number 9 then. The line with the equation y equals 2x intersects this circle, x squared plus y squared equals 5, at two points j and k, what are their coordinates? Now, can this be solved straight away just by thinking of the picture of it, the graphs? y equals 2x is a line that cuts to the origin with a gradient of 2. x squared plus y squared, with no mentions of any other terms, it's got centre at the uh, origin with radius root 5, which means considering the symmetry in the diagram, whatever the coordinates of those two points are, they must be the same distances. If that eliminates the other ones, it's done. Well, unfortunately, that not narrows it down to either A or B. I've both got like 1 and negative 1, or 2 and negative 2. So I'll just have to go through it then. So we've got, if this line cuts that circle at these points, at those points, this y-coordinate must give the same answer as that y-coordinate for those x's. So x squared plus, instead of y, I write 2x, all squared. That will be 4x squared. Adding up is 5x squared. You can see the answer already. Take the 5 across and divide its 1. Square root plus or minus 1. So it was in fact the answer A. Number 10 then, which of the following graphs has got this equation? You notice, Jamie, that's just a shifted, translated equation. What's happened to this is, you've got the basic graph, which would have been y equals log base 5 of x, and it's been shifted, whoops, it is it, forward 2. And then you would need to remember that, or work this out, as we'll do in a minute, the basic log graph comes up and cuts through at 1, no matter what the base is, and it never touches the y-axis. So if it was shifting forward 2, it would simply cut, go through and cut at 3. And that should be enough to identify it as B. However, if you couldn't remember that, you could always do it algebraically by saying this. Well, they all seem to cut the x-axis at different places. Well, some don't cut at all, so you could say, where would this cut the x-axis? It would cut the x-axis when y is 0. When log base 5 of x minus 2 equals 0. And then simply home in an x by removing the two parts. The inverse of the function log base 5 is exponential base 5. So that would be 5 to the 0 which of course anything to the power of 0 is 1, and then solving that by taking the 2 across and adding 1 plus 2, which then gives you 3. And that was the only graph that cut at 3. You could have done that instead. Number 11 then. How many solutions does this equation have? So it's the result of some factorisation. Well, that's trigonometrical terms. They both say sine, but of course the same principle applied to cosine. Now, a sine graph would look like this, going all the way up to and it's saying in radians 2 pi, no degree sines. Well, as far as solutions are concerned, the first thing would be the sine graph can only go between 1 and negative 1. So if the answer was greater than 1 or less than negative 1, there'd be no solutions. If it was a proper fraction, if it was some number less than 1 but greater than negative 1, in general you would have two answers. Unless, of course, you were at 0, in which case you could have 3 if this was included. You have to consider all of these features. So, what have we got for the two parts? Well, this part here is nice and easy. Sine x equals negative 1. Well, negative 1 only happens once, so I've got one solution there. This part says sine x equals root 5 upon 4. Now, root 5 is less than 4, so that's a proper fraction, which means I'm going to have two solutions there. So altogether, I should have, without writing them out, because I didn't ask them, I just said how many, there should be three solutions. And that would be B. Now, number 12 here. A function is given by this expression here, a quadratic. And it says, which of the following describes the nature of the roots for this equal to zero, for that expression equal to zero, this quadratic equation? Well, straight away, the discriminant is going to give you that. b squared minus 4ac. 
because remember b squared minus 40c is the critical part in the formula which gives you the solutions of a quadratic negative b plus or minus the square root over 2a of b squared minus 40c all depends what goes into that square root well what is going to go into that square root what is this discriminant? Well, b is the coefficient of x, that'll be negative 1, so that's b squared, minus 4 times a is the coefficient of x squared, which is 2, c is the constant at the end, which is negative 9, remembering to collect the sign with the following term. So that'll be 1, but that'll be take away negative is plus 8 times 9 is 72, which is 73. So that tells you the number that would appear in this bracket here in the square root would be 73, which means you will get two solutions, because there will be something plus a value and something minus a value. However, 73 is not a perfect square, which means you'll be left with a third. So you'll have an irrational solution then, or two rational solutions for this. So that means then I won't have any exact rational roots, so I'd have to say I've got two distinct irrational roots or with arm check maybe they'll just call those real roots but certainly not rational what did they actually say here it's got it just says real distinct roots so c would qualify that certainly not not real certainly not equal certainly not rational must be c